Hey everyone, great to see you back on my channel. So the Christmas preparation time has officially begun, at least for me, and I decided to share some easy DIY tutorials on my channel here. So there will be three videos in this little series. And today we are doing a little sketchbook or notebook, whatever you like, um, with the cool cover design. And yeah, I would say let's begin. Before I begin with the tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I did a snap decision to do a Black Friday sale. So if you like to get one of these small skin sketchbooks with a hand drawn cover, just use the code YAY BLACK FRIDAY to get 15% off in my shop. You find the link in the description box below. And now back to the video. You need the following materials. Some shaving cream. But I didn't have shaving cream, I just tried it out with my shower foam and it worked perfectly fine. Some sort of color, this can be acrylic paint, food coloring or ink. I used ink. Cardstock or some sort of thick paper for the cover. More paper for the sheets inside of the sketchbook. You can use whatever you like. A stapler, a ruler and some sort of cap to get rid of the foam we won't need anymore but I couldn't find something like that. I used a simple plate and maybe a folding stick. This makes your life much easier during this DIY but I don't have a fancy folding stick. I used my ruler again. We are doing the cover with the marble effect first. Use your cardstock and spray some foam on it. You can also spray the foam on your plate and swipe the cardstock over it. This is also possible. After that you can add some drops of color on top and don't worry if a bit of the color goes directly on the paper. After that you grab your ruler and move the foam with the color carefully over the paper, just like that. Our goal is to get color to every part of the paper we want to. After doing so we need to get rid of the foam. So carefully use your ruler to remove the foam and put it on your cup or on your plate. You can also use two colors here if you like. I wanted to use the pink ink by Winsor & Newton, but I simply couldn't open this ink well again. Now the paper needs some time to dry and we can use this time to prepare the paper for the inside of the notebook or sketchbook. I used normal computer printer paper here, but you can use whatever you like. Tone paper, mixed media paper, watercolor paper, marker paper. Oh man, there's so much paper out there. I folded all of them into half and used my ruler to get a sharp folded edge. Just make sure that your ruler is clean, otherwise your paper will be dirty. All happy folding stick owners can use their folding stick for this step. Just sort the paper in a way that you can see me doing on screen right now. If there is any bookbinder currently watching, please skip to another video. You can hardly survive my laziness when it comes to bind a book. Basically, you can bind your notebook however you like. There are so many tutorials on YouTube, but there is the one for lazy people. Just use a stapler. Grab your dried cover, put it on top of the folded paper, just like this. And now it's stapler time. Just staple two times and voila, your sketchbook is finished. You can also grab your liner and start drawing on the cover. If you don't like this marble look, some geometrical patterns or zentangles will be also super cool for cover design. Just get creative here and design your own cover. So here you can see the sketchbook, notebook design again and I think it's a really cute Christmas present. I know using a stapler is not the best way of finding a book, but I feel like that perfectionism is really destructive for me when it comes to art and crafting. So I watched many bookbinding tutorials on YouTube and they are about 20 minutes, 30 minutes and I know when I do these on my own I need hours for binding only one book. And this really really holds me back and I feel like there are many people out there who feel the same. And they are also thinking that DIY gifts look stupid or childish or really sunny. But how in the world can a family member or a dear friend cannot appreciate a gift that you put love, effort and time in? If there is a simple way of creating a sketchbook with a cool cover, just do it. It doesn't need to be perfect. 
just get your foot in the door and start crafting no matter how it looks it will be perfect for your loved ones and yeah this is the point I really wanted to make here at the end of the video are you going to craft some little gifts for your loved ones on your own let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please let me know and give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos on my channel don't forget to subscribe and yeah that was the first video here in my little series and watch out for the next two thank you so much for watching and i see you next week bye bye